Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Today, let's talk about blocking. Here, punch me in the face, please. Okay. You probably associated this sort of thing, covering up as, as blocking, and you may come from a traditional martial art here. Throw a very slow punch that lands about six inches away from my face. Hiya! Right? And now throw a very low punch at my belly button. Hiya! And now throw a very slow punch at my head. Hiya! Right? That's not actually blocking. They, they're called blocks, they're not blocks. That's not what. It works if I'm very, very slow. And if you stop about this far away from the face. Do you ever see um, the Karate Kid, the original Karate Kid, with Pat Morita and Daniel, Daniel LaRusso? That's not the actor's real name. The character. Anyway, so Daniel is learning karate. After he paints the fence and waxes the car and sands the floor, and he's like, Mr. Miyake, I thought you were going to teach me karate, and you're just teaching me how to do chores. Okay. And then Mr. Miyake is like, show me sun on the floor. And he gets down, he's like, no, no, no. Up here. And so Daniel starts doing this, and then Mr. Mary is like, ha, 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 ha. And he throws these punches that land like six inches away. And uh, here, block them. Ha, 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 ha. We didn't even choreograph this, and it's, it's probably just as good as the movie, man. Ha, ha, that's so good. Ha, ha, keep ha, using words like these little kids. Ha, ha, ha. And it plays out basically exactly like that. No, that's not what we're talking about. That's not how blocking works. But, I'm constantly asked about blocking on YouTube, so it, it's a weird, weird expression to me. Now we can stop punches a bunch of different ways. I can catch him. Here, throw a punch at me. Again, punch me in the face. Again, again. Here, throw your, throw your one two at me. So I'm catching them with my palm. Just and I'm really it. trying to punch him. I know people when they show, they never try to punch him. Yeah, right? he's, he's, I, here, follow yeah. through with that. Oh, yes, exactly. He's punching me. So I'm catching it just like holding a focus mitt. So if you hold a lot of focus mitt, you can do that. Of course, you have to have your footwork in. It's best if you have a follow up. Okay? But then there's parrying punches. That's where we move the hands sideways. Do not lower them. You'll push the punch into your guts. So here, throw a couple punches. Here, that's my head, please. Okay. Oh, oh. And so one, two, one, one. And throw the jab a couple of times, just the jab. So you see what's happening there? Yeah, I'm missing just a little bit. I'm pushing it to the side. I'm not stopping the punch. I'm not actually blocking it. I'm redirecting it. I'm going to throw the one, two. Now I like to move my feet when I block that second one. Block. And then move because it opens up this nice opening there for the one, two. Okay. We can also block with our head, if I lower the chin, keep this more prominent. This is your last line of defense, third one, too. I will aim to the chin. Oh, oh, ah, yeah. Okay. yeah, so I'm catching it on the forehead instead of on the soft stuff here. Uh, that's your very last line of defense. That's why we want to keep the chin down, okay? And the forehead slightly forward, so instead of getting hit here, we get hit here. Make the forehead prominent. What else can we do? We can cover up here, throw some punches at me. Some books at me. Okay, now you might not notice, but what I'm doing to block the hook is sliding this hand back and grabbing the back of my head. Why the back of the head? Because you get hit in the back of the head all the time. The rules say don't strike me in the back of the head, it's inconsequential. Here I'll be step up right here. So if I'm throwing a big hook, Boom, and that happens. It's a very illegal blow. So cover up the back of your head. Boom. Okay. Protect yourself at all times. That's rule number one. If you're what making your hair. If you're making contact, here, here, stand right here, stand right here. If you are making contact with the other person, you're losing several of the battles relevant to winning the fight already. So here, jab me, please. Again. So we can move our head out of the way. That's better than blocking. Why is that better than blocking? Why? Because you can put me in a better position. Throw your one, two. Okay, notice I'm slipping and throwing the right hand at the same time. It's called a cross. Do you guys know the difference between a straight and a cross? 
This is a straight punch. And the cross is mechanically the same as a straight punch, except I slip a punch at the same time. Here, throw your jab. Hold it right there. Let's turn around. What position are our arms in? They're crossed. That's why it's called a cross. Did you know that? I know a lot of fighters and a lot of coaches use those terms straight and cross interchangeably. But yeah, a cross, that's what it is. It's a counter punch. Counter punch is it's one of the best things you can do. Instead of blocking, you don't bait the guy to hit you. Jack Corbin, you can stop. Counter, like, counter punching is amazing, so much better than blocking. Why? Because you hurt him. Okay, if he's throwing punches at your head, so it hooks at your head specifically. You can bottle the knee, and you might be asking, well, what about knees if this is an LMA fight? You can still bob and weave an LMA, just keep it shoulder level. And of course, keep the hands on the chin when you go down just in case that knee comes up, boom. It's better to take it on the forearms than on the chin. All right, so if he throws a right hook here, right down to here, boom, this puts me in a position to counter. If I move my feet here, okay. So the point I'm trying to get across is there's just a lot of other stuff you can do besides blocking. Now, blocking comes into play a lot with kicks. If he throws a leg kick, I could, oh, he did it on the leg, or I could check it with my shin, okay? And that can cause damage to both you and him, depending on how it lands. But there are better things to do than checking here. Kick him, please. I can counter strike. Here, kick him, please. Boom. Counter strike with a straight right. Kick him, please. You can catch him, counter. Kick the body. You can catch that. Take the guy down. Kick me in the head, please. Same thing right here. I hate this one, by the way. <laughs> okay. If you want, you can do the real one for the show. I know it went soft. What else can we do? We can jam the strikes. Right? So he's throwing a lot of stuff at me. I want to the shell up here. Move in tight, close. What's happening? Am I blocking? No, I don't need to. I'm jamming. We can use the clinch the same way. Right? I don't want to block. I don't want to get hit. So. I'm going to touch with them. I'm going to grab something. Okay? So I've got a collar tie. I've got, I'm pulling for bicep control here. So I can push and I can pull and I can bring up knees. And here, punch me, please. I can get some hooks over hook here. And I can turn this into a. So if you're obsessed with blocking, once again, the point I'm trying to get across is, don't. Just focus on putting yourself in positions to win the fight. The best defense is a good offense, as the old saying goes. So, yeah, here, just throw some straight punches at me. So, Evaluate your priorities if your priorities are block everything. Anyway, thank you for watching. Now get out there and pray. Hey fella, looks like you could use a rash guard. What for you say? Well, they protect your skin against matte porn illnesses, matte burn, and they make you look incredibly cool. But where do I get a rash guard from? Hey, have you heard of xmarshall.com? Yeah, then what are you waiting for? Check them out right now. Xmarshall.com has all kinds of rash guards, from sleek and simple, novelty, badass designs, and more. Channel your inner Japanese cartoon rat monster. Express your love for bad puns and kitty cats doing iconic jujitsu moves. Hey, that panda's gonna hit the other panda with a folding chair like a pro wrestler. And this one makes your right arm stand out. 
xmarshall.com, serving your needs beyond just no-gi Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Now, find brand new equipment for mixed martial arts, kickboxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, and more at xmarshall.com. As always, use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything on the website. Once again, that's xmarshall.com. Rash guards, spats, shorts, and more. Links and discount codes in the description below.